Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will show you how to activate REST API on your Salesforce server to be able to use our UAPAD Salesforce activity. So what we'll do today, we'll work with the sandbox. So we have my user and my password. We will log into the test Salesforce API.com. Let's select my user, robot.salesforce.com. Let's put the password. And let's go further. First um, um, item that we need to get is this one, security token. To be able to get a security token, we will go and we'll go here, we'll go on the settings. And here you can go and say, reset my security token. After you do this, you can see that the system will send you an email. In my case, the, uh, the account is configured on cinegolescu.gmail.com. We'll go to cinegolescu.gmail.com and we'll see that we received the new key. So let's copy this new key and let's put it on our file. Next step, we need a consumer key and consumer secret. So to be able to get this, we'll go to the setup. On the setup of the um, Salesforce, we'll go to Application, and then we'll go to Application Manager. And here we'll say that we connect a new application. And we'll call this REST API UiPath. Yeah. We'll here, let's put the, um, an email, robot.salesforce.com, and we'll enable the settings for the callback URL. I will use this one. And most important, here we need to, um, on the authentication scope, I will give a full access. Good. After we do this, we save, hit continue. And we receive our consumer key, yeah? So let's copy paste the consumer key on our file. And now we need also the secret one, yeah? So for the secret one, we just click delete the secret and get the data. Good. And the next step before we test it, we need to go to manage. And after we go to manage, here we need to edit policy. So here we need to check if we have um, uh, all user may self-authorize. And here in my case, I need to use relax AP restriction. So let's click save. And after we click save, we are able to test the connection from UiPath Studio. So what I'll do, we'll go to UiPath Studio. I will create a sequence. I will create a new sequence. As for test, okay. And on the sequence, I have the Salesforce API connector installed. I will drag and drop Salesforce application scope. And on the Salesforce application scope, I will copy paste all the values from here. Let's see what we have. So after you complete all the values here, you just need to, to click test, yeah? And basically you see that you have a valid connection and you can continue to work with the Salesforce component, tracking different activities and so on. And um, the, the system will use in design time also this connection, yeah? We don't have data, so I drag the data and so on. Thank you for watching, have a good one.